Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today, this is going to be the first video I've enjoyed making and God knows how long and I'm going to explain to you guys why, okay? I was using a fun team. Look, look at this team. A lot of players that are not completely meta. Some of them are, right? But it's a fun team. Look at how guys, look at me. I have Quaresma, my team. I have Quaresma. I never have Quaresma. I never used Quaresma. But in today's video, we have some gameplay for him. You know why? And you guys will see in the video later today, probably three hours from now. So be sure to go check out that one when it comes out. Because it's going to be me ranting about the, the way Division 1 works. Because imagine you being at 24, 2500, and guess what? You get the same rewards as someone 500 skill rating less than you. Pooh, makes absolutely no sense, okay? 2000 skill rating? Relegate yourselves, guys. Don't care about your record. Because you know why? This is a fun skill rating to be at. Because people are not always, because there's some, but they're not always abusing the El Tornado Cross and the manual goalkeeping. I hate anyone who uses those two, okay? Those two in particular, I hate people who do that shit. Ooh, the deepest passion. But these two games, proper goals, ladies and gentlemen. Really nice gameplay. I, this is not my account. It's my boy's account. We switched some things here and there, right? This is the team. The one player I'm going to tell you, look at the chemistry styles, because the chemistry styles are very important for each one of these players, okay? With Ronaldo, give him a plus 10 on that balance. Got to give him that engine card for that balance, because his shooting is already really good. But anyways, the only person who's garbage in this team is Danilo Pereira. Danilo Pereira is absolutely trash bags. But it's so much fun to use Ronaldo Sanchez, finally. PZ, Quaresma. Uh, Verinha, Ruben Dias, Pep, Miguel Lopez, like, bros, this is what's fun, this, this right here is what's fun, okay, I'll show you guys my custom tactics, I switched a few things here and there, right, we'll see if I can use this team more often, even when I stream, because this is fun for me, okay, but if I play more games and get to a higher SR, it's no longer gonna be fun, because you know what people are gonna be doing, ch ch cross and then poof, header, Literally like second, six second span of not being able to do shit. Anyways, this is my tactics right here, right? This is what he rocked with at first. He used a press after possession loss, but my team was completely opened up after that happened, right? So I just used drop back bounce and these are the bars. I switched a few things here and there. He had way too many players in the box, right? So counter attacks with, he had, this guy's crazy, okay? He had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, seven on players in the box, right? So he was here and players in the box. And that was crazy because he had that. And then he also had press after possession loss. So I was like, this guy is absolutely crazy. So I had to change it up a little bit, right? Um, but I have drop back, but big difference in this team. I'll show you the difference, right? The difference is that this is fun. This is a fun team we made. I'll show you why. Nothing on the fullbacks. Nothing on the fullbacks. Only thing I change is stay back while attacking and cover center for the CDMs. For the two CDMs, that's the only thing I put. Everything else is unbalanced. And it's so much fun to use. Because I'm not using the meta of stay back while attacking, come back and defend. No. 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 We had fun this time. It's the first video I've made in so long. Even though my second gameplay, my second game gameplay wasn't great, which you guys are going to see. This was fun to play with. Ron Felix is even chilling on the bench and shit, man. But sharing all those two gods here, right? It's the first time I had fun in a while. So hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. I'm going to be showing that right now. Nice goals scored, man. First time I've scored more than three goals uh, in Division 1 because of being in the 2500 skill rating. Getting the same rewards and having this and facing harder opposition. I just, it makes no sense to me. But you guys will see that video later on, all right? Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys. Let's get into the gameplay, all right? God, I haven't seen a team like this in forever. Hi, everybody. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith, welcoming you to... This big game today. The waiting is over. The game is off and running, and so are the players. 
Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Anthony Lopez starts in goal. And the great man is up front today, Cristiano Ronaldo. This is how the visitors will line up today. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside David Luiz in the heart of defence. Daniele De Rossi plays alongside Dries Mertens in the middle of the park. And a partnership with these two strikers up front. Pizzi. Pizzi. Danilo. And shoots! Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. He does keep himself in amazing condition, Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's ready to, go to put them in front. Nice Pizzi. goal. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. That was actually sick. The celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. So the first goal is 1-0. It's with De Rossi. Allen. De Rossi. Guedes. Here's Renato Sanchez. And they get it away. Cristiano Ronaldo. Verinha. Renato Sanchez. Here's Danilo. Just working away to try and find an opening. Quaresma. Joao Cancelo. Quaresma. Pizzi. Not a threat at the moment, but they have got the ball, and that, I suppose, is a threat. Ronaldo. Here's Renato Sanchez. Oh. Hit the post. Daniele De Rossi. Allen. Well, they're well on top at the moment and could have gone further ahead, but can't count the chickens. They've not won this match yet. Now, William. Mertens. In quickly. Guedes. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Great, quick, good vision. In behind is Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, good save. And he's clung onto the ball as well. Here's Willian. Threading it through. It must be. Good save. Clean through. One on one against the goalkeeper. Yeah, it's a wonderful stop, Martin, isn't it? And uh, no bits and pieces either to follow up on. Tight against the touchline, it pretty clear that it was going to end up with a throw in. And it's with Danilo. Pizzi. Joao Cancelo. Pizzi. Renato Sanchez. Great chance. Oh, there it is. Gonzalo Gedge. Starting at 2 0. With Mertens. Now William. Allen. Now Dries Mertens. Got to clear it now. Cristiano Ronaldo saw the pass coming and got there first. Well, the away team will be interested in this because the home side are now defending with a clear offside trap. Well, they've laid down a marker. Can they get through now, the opposition? And it will be their throw. Danilo Pereira. Joao Cancelo. Caresma. Here's uh, Danilo Pereira. Pizzi. Aldo, Pizzi, Danilo Pereira, could get the ball into the box now, very skilled, these passes may look easy but 
the uh, work off the ball is very important. That's the sign of a top class player to score. Ronaldo doesn't mess around, my G. Hey man, I respect it, I respect it. Yeah, teams the team's nice. The team's nice, it's fun to use, man. Okay, okay, okay. What I see is what I see. What I see. But na na na. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. New tactics this time. Let's see if this works out more. Last game when I used my boys' tactics. Now I got to use different tactics. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Anthony Lopez starts in goal, and the great man is up front today, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, the dribbling's not great this game. This dribbling's terrible. Team will line up today. David De Gea starts in goal. Wayne Rooney is the lone striker today. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. Well, he's playing it back to the goalkeeper. Now Danilo Pereira. Joao Cancelo. Pizzi. Here's Renato Sanchez. Oh. More emphasis touches every time now. Yeah, they're doing it every single touch now. Renato Sanchez. R.I.P. Pepe. Here's Renato Sanchez. Verinha looking for an opening with some good control build-up. On to Ronaldo. And These now touches right now, man. And could be caught <laughs> having to hurry back. Ungolo Conte. Leighton Bates. Sador. Joao Cancelo. Conte. And it's played down the uh, touchline, really, by Bates. Rooney making a run in the middle. Good defensive clearance there. And that will clear the danger. Caresma. Renato Sanchez. There's the play here. Verinha. Pepe. Ronaldo. Guedes. Threads it through. Ronaldo in the clear. Nice goal. And they put away the first goal. Very nice goal. So the first goal I have to is compensate there. a little bit for the uh, bad gameplay, but you definitely notice the touches for sure. Hopefully you're good. You got Lopes is a little bit small, so. Great work by the goalkeeper. Great hands. Cristiano Ronaldo. Crafting oh, Ronaldo. You are what makes this team. Oh, I That's should not have made that pass. Really bad pass. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut mm. it out. My uh, clearance disappeared there. That was a little scary. And it's with Danilo. On a layoff pass. Lovely nice. Ball from Ronaldo. Wait for that run right there. Quaresma. Quaresma. Pizzi. Oh, he went for the tackle. So RIP, man. To make the opening there. Nearly. I sense it on those sides, eh? Watch the run right there. Oh, that's not. That was a really bad pass. I didn't pass it there. Pass to the other guy on top. He's in a decent position. Put the corner in the middle. We got Lopes. Oh, but I had that angle. Here's Rooney, looking to win it back. Clearance by Pepe. Wow, what a touch! What was that, dude? Be a throw. That's how you can tell game play, game plays bad. I don't. I didn't even. I wasn't even holding our trigger there. He just does that touch there. Sterling. 
That was really bad there. It's deflected behind. It will be a corner. In goes the corner. That's why I switched Ruben Diaz to anchor instead of instead of shadow because he needs the jumping. He needs a jumping boost. And it's with Danilo. Karezma. Referee had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. Pizzi. Renato Sanchez. And it's with Danilo. Here's Renato Sanchez. Here's uh, Danilo Pereira. Ronaldo. Ooh, Ronaldo saw it. Quaresma right there. Coming and got there first. Quaresma. Joao Cancelo. Just working away to try and find an opening. Terrific play on the ball. Oh, lovely cleat. Here's it. He's nice goal, Quaresma, man. Quaresma with two goals this game, man. They do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for My this. boy's working it. It's that sniper. I changed the chem style to sniper, and it made a huge difference. Restarting at 2-0. There we go. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Karezma. Here's Renato Sanchez. Aldo. Guedes. Clever play on the ball. Can whip it in now. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. Danilo Pereira. Pizzi. Quaresma. Oh, Quaresma, man. Quaresma with the sniper chemistry style, it makes a difference. Like, he should, he can't have Hunter. Because his dribbling is so poor on base cam that he needs the sniper card. I changed some of the tactics around, too. Because the last time I was using it on default. It's kind of fun, though, man. Like, even with the bad gameplay, it's just fun to use a full Portuguese team. This is what FIFA's about, you know? And scoring nice goals, too. Nothing overpowered of the sorts of freaking stupid flicks and shit. Two added minutes. Now it's Figo. It's ruining. That's a turnover of possession here. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, that touch was bad. I might actually give a sniper to Ronaldo. Or there's actually a card that gives him plus 10 in balance. So whatever, whichever card that is, it's probably Engine. I'm probably going to give him Engine. I don't know which card he has on Ronaldo right now, so we just switch that up. Well, we wait to see what the second half brings. The first half was conclusive, but you nice. don't win the game at half PC, time. PC's uh, Europa League card is actually pretty good. And it's with Danilo. Make that run with Quaresma. There we go. Clever ball. Needs to stay cool now. I should have waited a little bit. Oh, what a I have to wait for the. I wait, you always have to wait for the transition runs there. Joao Cancelo. The guy's gonna track him. Job. With Figo. Rui Costa. The great challenge. Oh, was it a foul? Man, I thought I touched the ball there. Maybe I touched his legs first. Go back down here. Contact. Not often, Alan, do you see one man have one half like he's had. Oh, it was the top performance. Nice, right, Peasy's on side. Peasy. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Good goal. That's the sign of a top -class play to that was a fantastic that. goal. Gonzalo Gedge opening up the space on the left side. The, the nuisance is in this team so is definitely like today, Danilo Pereira. The he's definitely like the, the biggest goal. nuisance. Everybody else like is usable in their own way, you know? They're usable in their own way. This guy's just going to waste time now. Run it back with an interception. Busy. Verinha. Guedes. Well up the field, the line of defenders to play offside. And at home, confident in their action. They are confident, but maybe gives a little chance for the opposition to get in behind. Ronaldo, great start. And I got a penalty, nice. Well, well, well. 
Honestly, he probably thinks I'm gonna go to the middle. Being seeing it's 4 0. Oh, I should have given it to Kodejma. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ultra attacking because I think he's gonna try to waste time. Oh, he's not. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Ronaldo threads it through. He's through here. Off the post. It was a good game, 5-0. This guy at some point was kind of just like one of those, uh, oh, you scored this many goals against me, here it is. Uh, Quaresma with two goals and just fun card to use. Uh, he missed he missed a pretty simple opportunity. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually going to show the post there. It does not. Oh, it does. Maybe it shows this. I think it's just going to show the skill move here, actually. Yeah, so this is why the finishing is terrible in this game. It's god-awful because I have a sniper card on him. And this is why I don't believe, well, it's either, it's, this is either like, uh, finishing being god awful in this game, or, um, oh wait, sorry. It must be, it's either like finishing as god awful in this game, or these chemistry style stats make no sense, because this Quidditchma card right here is on a sniper, and with sniper he gets a plus 15 in finishing, so he has 86 finishing, 85 composure. Once I do this skill move right here, once I do this skill move right here, his finishing here is just really, really unacceptable, right? I especially take the touch, go for the driven finesse, he hits the post. He shouldn't be hitting the post there, right? On a simple 1v1. There's no one near him, right? A bronze player should be able to score this, right? You don't reward good play, like uh, the guy committed to me, finesse shot, nothing, right? It's just stupid. It makes no sense, right? And if his defender's good, right, or he defends well, I can't cut into the middle and shoot this across goal because driven shots are not consistent either. It's just ridiculous that I don't score this. Like, this bothers me so much because defensive AI is so effective in this game that when something like this happens and you take the touch to guarantee a better shot, that's why people do first-time shots. That's exactly why. That's why people abuse the game mechanics in this game because you don't allow people to score those opportunities. It's just stupid, right? But I enjoy using the team. The team's a ton of fun to use. Uh, scored some really nice goals that game. Uh, my opponent, like I said, at some point just kind of like, he was just kind of like, whatever. It doesn't really matter anymore. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. They sh EA should definitely, definitely consider uh, making Division One rank uh, matchmaking, Division One matchmaking, so that I can use a Portuguese team like this and have fun with it because it's completely unfair to be at 2,000 skill rating, and the difference between 2,000 skill rating and 2,400, 2,500, 2,600 is massive. The skill rating, the, it's not its not massive, it's its abuse, abusing game mechanics more, right? So, they should just make Division 1 matchmaking open. It would, make, it would make the game mode more fun to play. It makes no sense that you get the same exact shit for being at 2,000 than someone who's at 2,400. When the skill rating difference is from 1,900 and then 2,400, and then like 2,800 or 3,000 or whatever. It just makes no sense, right? But I enjoy using this team. I'm going to ask my boy if, if I can use his account more because uh, this is the first time I've actually enjoyed FIFA in regards to head-to-head -head and division rivals in a while because of Cristiano Ronaldo the most, but then also because I'm using a Portuguese team. Danilo Pereira is absolutely garbage in this team. Um, everybody else is usable in their own way, but Danilo Pereira is just really, really bad. Um, I would even consider subbing in the Conte that he has on the bench because he has that foot champs Conte um, right over there, right? And then there's also Messi whenever I need to have someone like Messi on the pitch as well. So a decent team. I think Portugal is missing a CDM that's actually pretty solid. Uh, I can't really think of anybody right off the bat in terms of players that can be good. Maybe PZ. Maybe PZ could actually be good as a CDM. What's his work rate? High, medium? So we'd have a high, high, and a high, medium player. Honestly, PZ could potentially be better. Danilo Pereira just doesn't play well in this game. He didn't even play well last year either. And he's an FC Porto player. I love him for that, but he's just not, he's not, uh, he's not ideal. Like I said, everybody else is usable in their own way. I had to switch Quidditchmas chemistry style to sniper. Uh, Veringa to, to, to anchor because he has them on balance for fullbacks and you need a little bit of pace in the balance. Uh, so that you can come back, but also be able to win the physical engagements. And then Ruben Diaz needed the um, physical boost 
drastically with the jumping, especially the strength and stuff, because um, you know he was he was losing some of those physical battles in that game. You can obviously tell uh, he was winning a little bit more. So a uh, super super fun team to use. The only really shit player in this team is Danilo Pereira. Um, hopefully in the future maybe they can uh, come up with something different in that position. But that is gonna conclude the video for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.